Ghana has been aged out by Portugal in today's uh, Group H World Cup encounter in far away Qatar. Christian, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo led the charge for Portugal as they aged out the Black Stars of Ghana in a trailing Group H fixture this Thursday, which saw five goals scored during the match. It was a very cautious first half when the Ghanaians wanted to calm all the nerves and played without just any serious adventurous move into the Portuguese half. So the first half ended um, without a goal, not by the Portuguese, not by Ghana, because both teams were trying to gauge the other one, understand how they play, and then being very cautious not to start um, losing early in the first half. Both teams came out in the second half anyway, and it was uh, Portugal that first uh, broke the jinx in the 65th minute when Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, got fouled in the box. And uh, the five-time Ballon d'Or winner stepped up to convert from the spot to give Portugal the lead in the game and create a new record of being the first player to score in five World Cups. That is Cristiano Ronaldo. He started in 2006 in Germany where he scored. He followed up in 2010 where he scored again. And 2014 in Brazil he scored again. Each time it was just one goal. But in 2018 in Russia he broke loose and scored a total of four goals. Now and again, this is 2022, and he has scored one goal in his first match in Qatar, making him the only player in history. He's performed even better than Pele or Ronaldo or whoever you may think of. He has scored in five World Cups, and that is not a mean record. It's not an easy record to achieve because it means... Between these five World Cups, we are talking of 16 years in between. So if a period of 16 years, Ronaldo has remained on top and is able to score in every World Cup game. This is the 16th year. He started at the age of 21, when he was 21 years and 132 days. That's when he scored his first goal in the World Cup in Germany. But after his goal, he was five minutes later. João Felix got Portugal back in front again. Sorry, um, um, the Ghanaian skipper called Andrew Ayo, the son of um, Abedi Pele, the famous Ghanaian footballer. His son Andrew Aye then scored an equalizer for Ghana eight minutes after Ronaldo gave Portugal that lead. And he sent the whole Ghana supporters in the stadium into wide jubilation. You can, of course, imagine the frenzy. You can imagine the joy. It's like if Nigeria is playing. Please. Like this video by giving us a thumbs up so that YouTube will now recommend it to more people. Share it among your contacts and also subscribe to our channel because we will be bringing you important updates from the World Cup, especially it as it concerns the performance of African teams in the tournament. Five minutes after IU, Joe Felix got Portugal back in front as he latched onto a true pass and beat Ziggy in goal for Ghana. After 
Andre Ayu scored, he was changed. And immediately he changed. Two minutes after, or less than that, he left the field. That's when Jao scored the second goal to make it 2-1 for Portugal. Um, the Portuguese team then added a third goal minutes later to kill off the game. And substitute Rafael Leao got onto a pass on the left to call in from close range. And the Ghanaian defense did not have the answers. They had a number of them at the defense, but they were kind of confused. They were not able to stop these quick, two quick goals that came after Ayu scored one for them. Well, Ghana still fought back and managed, after conceding the third goal, and managed to score one more goal through Osman Bukhari, who got to the end of a cross to give Ghana that um, hope of probably leveling up with uh, Portugal. Eventually, the Black Stars uh, couldn't score any more goal, and it ended 3-2 in favor of Portugal. And um, Portugal, as a result of this victory, has now climbed to the top of the table after Uruguay and South Korea settled for a goalless draw in an earlier fixture. So in that group H, it is Portugal first, Uruguay, South Korea following before our great footballing neighbor, Ghana. Ronaldo was playing for the first time since his controversial television interview last week and his subsequent release by Manchester United following the comments he made in that interview. The 37-year-old in that interview hinted, uh, said something like that uh, Manchester United kind of betrayed him. They haven't been fair to him. And that prompted the team to swing into action and roll out their contract papers, found their legal team, and they set Ronaldo free. And he's now a free player, being the first free player to play in the World Cup since 2010. It has happened before, but this time since 2010, no other person has been a free player to play in the World Cup except Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, well, this is what happened today in the World Cup encounter between Ghana and Portugal. And Ghana has been beaten by Portugal, though they showed a lot of strength and bravado, fighting back and fighting strongly. They were able to contain the Portuguese in the whole first half without any goal. And in the second half, things started to shift like quicksand and quickly they lost it and it became 3-2. We wish them well. They are our strong opponents in, when it comes to football, but all the same, it's still a brotherly nation to us. So, Let's see how they will perform and probably by um, luck or dint of hard work, they will emerge from this group H and move on to the higher levels. We will see you in our next updates on the World Cup. Please watch our video on Cristiano Ronaldo and his various records that he has broken. Thank you. Remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in our next one.